For today's lesson, we're going to divide with remainders. We've been using models to help us with division. Today we're going to apply what we've learned from those and use it towards the standard method. So we have 44 divided by 3. So it means we're going to have three groups. And we're going to divide those 44 between them. Just like before, we start with our tens. So we have four tens. So I need to know how many tens I can put in each group. So if I have three, I can put one in each group. If I had six, I could put two, but I only have four. So I'll put one ten in each group. So we can start working on our quotient. So we know they each get one ten. So that's going to go up above our problem, up above our tens place value, because they each get one ten. Then since we gave three groups one ten, means we've passed out three of our tens. So we subtract those because we've given them out, which leaves us with one ten left. With our pictures, we would then take that one ten and divide it into ten ones. And then we also have these four ones that we can add to our 10, which will give us 14 ones. So now we're going to give those 14 ones out to those three groups. So how many can I give each one? So I know 3 would be 1, 6 would be 2, 9 would be 3, 12 would be 4, 15 would be 5. I don't have 15, so they're each going to get 4. So there are four threes and 14. So each group gets four. So I'm going to put that above my ones place value because they each get four ones. So if I gave three groups four things, it means I passed out 12, which means I still have two of those ones left. So those are going to be my remainders off to the side. So each group has a 10, four ones, which makes 14, or two remainder. So my answer is 14, remainder two. So you can still use those models to help you. But now I'm going to do one without models. But it's going to be the same process. 85 divided by 4. So I start with my 10s. If I have eight tens. And I'm dividing them between four groups. How many can I give each one? I can give them each two. If I give four groups two things each, that is going to be eight. So I'm going to pass out all of my tens. I don't have any left over. So there's going to be zero tens left. Now I'm going to divide my ones. So I have five ones. I'm going to move that down here so I don't have everything else in the way. So if I have five ones into four groups, I can give each of those groups just one of those. So if I give four groups one thing, pass out four, which leaves me with one, one left. So that is my remainder. Besides pictures to help you, you can also use multiplication to check your work. So we'll also help you make sure you haven't forgotten how to multiply. We don't want to have spent all those months working on multiplication and have you forget. So this will help you as a little review and also help you check your work. So when we multiply to check, we take our quotient, the 21, we multiply it by our divisor, the 4. So 21 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And we also have our remainder of 1, so we have to still add that back in. So 84 plus 1 equals 85. And that was our dividend, so we know we did the problem correctly. One more example. 72 divided by 5. Start with my tens. There's 1, 
that I can give out, because I have seven things. This leaves me with two tens left. I bring down my ones, add it to my two tens. So now I have 22 things that I'm dividing between five groups. So now my fives are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I only have 22. So I can give them each 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So I passed out 20 things, which leaves me with 2 left. So that is my remainder. 14 remainder 2. Check my work with multiplication. Take my quotient times my divisor. 14 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. Add in my remainder of 2. And I get 72, which is my dividend. So I know 14 remainder 2 is the correct answer. Okay, now for your first practice problem. Same instructions. Divide and then use multiplication to check. Go ahead and pause. If you need some more review, you can rewatch those review problems. All right. So if we have four things divided by two, they can each have two tens. We give two people two tens means we passed out all four of our tens. So now we have our ones. We have seven ones. So if I have seven things divided between two, they can each have three. If I give two people three things, means I've given out six. This leaves me with one. Once again, remember that your remainder always has to be less than your divisor. 1 is less than 2, so remainder 1. Now check it. 23 times 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Add in our 1 remainder, and we get 47. So the answer is 23 remainder 1. Second practice problem, 63 divided by 5. We start with our tens. And we'll do our ones. Go ahead and pause, and we'll check your work. OK, starting with the tens, we have 6 divided by 5. They each can only have one ten, which will leave us with one left over. Bring down our three ones plus our 10, which we have 13. Now we have 13 ones divided by 5, so they can each have 2, which means we've passed out 10 more, which leaves us with 3, which is less than 5. So 12 remainder 3. Check our work. 12 times 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5, plus our 1 is 6. Add in our 3 remainder, and we get 63. So your answer is 12 remainder 3. OK, if you got those two right, you're ready for the three problems we'll check in class tomorrow. So here they are. Problem 1, 78 divided by 7. Problem 2, 62 divided by 4. And your last problem, number 3, is 93 divided by 2. Divide those and use multiplication to check. Thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.